As the world's best known male supermodel, he's the face and body of Dalton Gabbana. We're more used to seeing this man parading around in his skimpy white underwear. But for his latest assignment, he's teamed up with high street giants Marks and Spencers. Yes, it's Mr. David Gandhi. David, good to see you again. Thank you. So How was you. Uh, London Men's Collections for you? Good. It was it was very very successful. Obviously, being on the, on the committee, I tried to go to as much as I could and uh, support all the designers and, and, and Dylan and everyone that organised it. And uh, of course, I had to go to uh, go to all the parties afterwards. Of course, he did. So it wasn't exactly much uh, much sleep involved during four days. But I think I think I, I told you about twenty nine events and, and, and shows. So twenty. Pretty well. Busy man. And of course, you're working now with Marks and Spencers. Uh, the well, that's what I was wearing when you saw me. I was wearing that was a collection on anyway. Friday. Yeah, it was not. Mm -hmm. So you don't believe me. So I keep I keep telling people that I literally had. They said, "What are you wearing, Marks and, Marks and Spencers?" And they were like, "No, no, no." I keep having to open my jacket and show you it was collection. How would you describe your own sense of style? I mean, it's very kind of traditional based. It's always based around some sort of you know tailoring or suiting. But that's my that's my kind of go to safety mm -hmm. thing. Like tailoring, people think it's difficult to do, but actually to put a sight in you a suit together on tight and I think it's you know, a pair of a pair of brown shoes is not it's not hard. It's good. The hard bit to me is mixing whole different outfits and getting it right and I mean, obviously I've I've adapted the stuff to myself, you know, I've I wish you have to off the peg. It's the same as anywhere, you know, you're uh, with quite broad shoulders and, and, and sort of small waist so of course I, I like to have it fitted. But. So David when it comes to actually buying a suit mm off the peg on the high street, what would your top tips be? I think you have to know what suits you, for, firstly, for your, for your body type. You've got to get it right. I mean, what, what I kind of believe is you buy off the peg like I do, and you, then you get a tailor to just make all the tweaks and fit it to yourself. In terms of grooming, what is your uh, routine like? A bit of moisturiser, a bit of, bit, of, bit of hair wax. That's about it, really. I have, no, good, I have, I have a, my hair has a life of its own. I have a very good sort of hairstylist, but I, I take him around with me, and he comes and does all the covers and everything else now with me. and. Uh, He's been doing my hair for years. And, uh, so a good haircut, really, at the end of the day. I am so with you on that one. Yeah. Now talk to me about your fitness regime, because everyone imagines that you live in the gym seven days a week. The, the fitness regime is the same as it's ever been. You know, it's, uh, that's part of your kind of like lifestyle. How often do you work out? Mm, about four times a week, if I can. For how long? Half an hour to an hour, depending on timing. So you're not spending not your life in the gym? No. And I believe you recently became an ambassador for Battersea's I am. Oh. I am now. The, fir the first ever one. It's a 150-year-old um, you know, charity, but I'm the first ever ambassador. Are you a huge dog lover? Of course. Oh, I wish I brought Harry. I wish I heard about Harry. Oh, Harry's amazing. I was looking amazing. forward to see Harry. Oh, I'm, so not, I'm not looking forward to see you, but I was looking oh, yeah, forward thanks. to see Harry. Yeah, no, this is the reaction I get from most people. They're more <laughs> yeah. looking forward to Bring see Harry, Harry than exactly, me. Yeah. Yeah. Very quickly, I was asked uh, to ask you this question via Twitter. I believe you right. recently got your uh, racing yes, driver my license. Yes, my, my National B, yes. What would be your ideal track and car to drive? Uh, probably a Caterham. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> the, the true racing <laughs> driver. Told you it was on Twitter, it wasn't exactly. me. What's that? <laughs> it's, uh, it's just a very old English, based on the, the, based on the old Lotus 7. Okay. Yeah answered um, yeah. and finally you're in Dublin today it's not your first time I believe you've been here before I have been here a few yeah yep yeah. yeah. sampled a few pints of Guinness in my time and quite a bit of Jameson whiskey which is my favourite so how about yeah. the Irish Phillies <laughs> 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 yes we've, 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 we've uh, <laughs> let's just say I've had some good nights in Dublin there we go <laughs> on that note <laughs> on, thank off, you definitely very on that much. note thank you so much